Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, most of y'all know this is my 59 Kingswood wagon. Um, I had a quick question for y'all. I won't bore you to death with this wagon. I really haven't done much to it. Done a couple little odds and ends. Um, put some valve cover gaskets on. Stupid stuff like that. Nothing, uh, nothing really interesting. But anyway, when I bought this car, most of y'all know the lady didn't want to sell it. I made several offers on it of which she finally accepted one of them and uh so now i own it when i bought the car i told her you know hey uh, as it progresses i'll send you pictures she said no i don't want to see it you know i'm not you know i don't want she didn't want to sell the car so she wasn't trying to be rude she just i guess was a little bit sick that she sold it uh but she felt like it was time to go ahead and move the car on i guess me showing as much interest as i did uh she felt comfortable selling it to me now she said the car's name was Chlorine or Clarine. I cannot remember which one of the two. I don't want to bother her and ask her what she told me because I don't want to remind her of the car. You know, it may sound silly or juvenile to some of y'all for people to get upset over these old cars, but she did have a love for this old car and I don't want to text her and her be having a good day and bring something up of this car and, uh, mess that up i mean it probably wouldn't she probably wouldn't care but of course you just never know so anyway a uh, couple things what i was going to ask should i just stick with chlorine or clarine or i thought about maybe changing its name to matilda i don't know why that name kind of jumps out at me when i look at this car I, I again i don't really i don't know if y'all got any better ideas leave them in the comments tell me what you think about those three chlorine clarine uh, and I know it's going to be hard for y'all to uh, kind of delineate between the two as far as spelling is concerned. But uh, option A, Chlorine. Option B would be Clarine. Or option C, Matilda. Uh, and like I said, if y'all got some more uh, catchy little names, throw them in there. Maybe I'll use one of them. She told me she didn't care if I kept that name or not. I was more than welcome to rename the car. Uh, told her if I ever sold it. You know, I'd give her first shot at it. She said no, because I'd always want it back. You know, don't worry about that. So anyway, I think she's kind of done with the car, you know, so I could I could move on from those names. But like I said, they're kind of catchy. So give me y'all's opinion on the name for the 59 Kingswood. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just up in the air. Here's the point of the video. I was going to update y'all on this. Uh, I don't know what year this thing is. I have no idea. Some of you Jeep guys may know. I could probably open the door over here in a minute and see. This is a Jeep Cherokee Chief. Um, this thing's super cool. It's a two door. Most of these Wagoneer type Jeeps are four doors. Uh, I, ne I never have been a huge fan of them. It's one of those things that are cool. Uh, it's about like most older Fords. I like to look at them. I don't necessarily want to own them. Um, but you know, of course the deal's right. You know, it is what it is. I wouldn't care to have something like this, but now this thing here is super cool. I don't know what it is about this particular Jeep, but I really do like it. I like the color. The interior is just cool. Uh, got the old gun rack in it i mean this thing is just really cool i really like this one i wouldn't care a bit to have this one just have a home right here where it's at but uh that's not going to happen uh, josh is kind of in love with this thing he's wanting to use this to go on trips with uh, he wants to be able to get in this thing and take off anywhere he wants to take off in it uh reliably and not worry about it so he's going the right direction here of course this thing started life with a 360 uh it was kind of a slug. He put fuel injection on it, uh, aftermarket fuel injection, kind of like a uh, um, EFI, uh, ah, crap. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Just the throttle body type fuel injection for the older engines and had nothing but trouble out of it. So he decided to go with this 5.3. This is out of a uh, 2006 Tahoe. It's got a returnless uh, style fuel rail on it. We're going to run the Corvette regulator. Uh, we got to get the uh, of course, all the fuel lines, we gotta get those plumbed in, we gotta get the radiator in it, we gotta get the power steering hoses hooked up, transmission lines hooked up, the brake vacuum ran. Uh, this has kind of been a thorn in my side trying to find a place to put this big gaudy LS computer. Uh, as you can see, I've got aftermarket brackets on this thing. Those are relatively inexpensive. I think those are about 25 bucks or so on eBay, shipping taxes and all. Uh, but anyway, it's a big computer. We had it on the firewall over here over here in the corner beside this booster uh kind of out from it a little bit but you've got the computer which has got a big gobble wires going in it you've got a fuse box 
and you were going to have a uh, this is a drive-by wire throttle body as most of y'all can see it's drive-by wire it does not have a cable so you've got a drive-by wire uh module uh for the uh uh, for the gas pedal so anyway we got to mount all three of those and uh, we were going to mount them up here but the more i looked at it the more it bothered me uh, i just didn't like the way it looked he's going to be showing this to people and uh you know the one time you do a bad job that's the time everybody's going to talk about it now here's something else i'm address he he put these hoses on it i may uh i might take those off and get him some new black hoses to make it look a little cleaner but uh, we're gonna have to break into his original harness and uh, run his heater wire and uh, get an ignition wire off of it. Several little things, windshield wipers, stuff like that. A lot of work to do, guys. People think that it's real simple, that you can just jerk one of these things out of a junkyard for 600 bucks and throw it in in, in uh, one evening and have it running. Uh, maybe some people can, but to do it right, to make it look good, it takes time. Um, you know, you gotta have an oil pan different pickup tube, uh, several stupid little things, uh, headers or exhaust. Now this, uh, he got lucky on this one. There's a lot of clearance on these truck manifolds. These come off of the Tahoe and uh, he's got plenty of clearance. Um, you gotta have your computer tuned. You gotta uh, tune several little things out. We won't get into all that, but anyway. Uh, so, and then like I said, just finding a place to uh, hide all this stuff. Now we laid the harness out, out here on my floor and it looked like it was gonna be way too short uh, to go where I wanted it to go. Now, there's absolutely nowhere to put this computer and module and fuse box under this dash. You have a heater box here and it runs all under the dash. There's not a lot of room back here and you probably can't see, but there's actually the windshield wiper arms are in here. There's a heater box back here. There's wires. There's just absolutely no room to do what I wanted to do and uh also where we were going to put that computer before there was not going to be any place to put these back uh i like for something to look as stock and original as possible so i'd like to put those back under the hood uh even if they don't serve a purpose i, I don't really know why they've been took out but maybe just to get them out of the way so maybe they'll be okay anyway uh so we're going to take this seat out and we're going to put the computer under the seat uh, I'm going to have to move the seat forward and backwards, uh, see exactly where I want to put that computer. Of course, I want to be able to put it up here <coughs> as far as possible. So really, I guess I just need to move the seat all the way back and uh, put it as forward and toward the driver's side as I can. Because I don't, I don't want to have to lengthen anything unless I just have to. Uh, probably, will, probably will have to lengthen something. But uh, anyway, like I said, just trying to trying to hide stuff, trying to make it look good. That's what takes so much time. You could throw, you know, just crap in there. I've seen some god awful stuff uh, around some of these cruise ends and uh, rod runs, stuff like that. I was trying to see if I could see a date on this thing, but as you can see, uh, there's nothing there. I don't know. Who knows? Super cool old rig though. Here's a here's a registration. So this is a 1980. It's actually a little bit older than I thought it was. Uh, 1980 Jeep Cherokee Chief. Uh, as you can see, there's the hood. There's the radiator. Of course, uh, like I said, my buddy he spent the money. He's got Dakota digital gauges. Um, there's no telling what he'll have in this swap. I don't know where he's at right now. But uh, you know. From this point moving forward, you know, he's going to probably have another couple thousand dollars in it uh, by the time we're done. I uh, just got, the, like I said, got the computer back from a buddy of mine. Uh, he tuned this uh, just to, like I said, get this thing to run. Uh, basically taking the security out of it and deleting a few other things and uh, changing the, uh, you know, the where the fans and stuff come on as far as the temperature is concerned. Uh, deleting the downstream. O2 sensors, uh, just several little things. But anyway, uh, $150 to have that tuned, uh, which is a bargain. Uh, you know, especially he does good work. Uh, this old boy that done this one's done some pretty cool LS stuff, uh, BMWs, trucks. I don't know what all he's done, but he's done some pretty cool stuff. He got a little S10 he bought from me. He's eventually going to uh, build something out of it. He built some pretty uh, quick little cars. But anyway, like I said, you just get into a whole bunch of money. So if you're thinking about doing an ls swap um 
you know, really do your research. It, it's There's a lot more to it than uh, what most people think. But anyway, I just want to give you all an update on the Jeep. I've got to get busy. I'm going to jerk this seat out. i got to back uh, this car out. Let me know what y'all think on the name, please. Just uh, drop a comment. Tell me what you think uh, the car ought to be called. Like I said, I don't know why Matilda's jumping out at me. Uh, who knows? I've probably ran across something and it's just sort of stuck in my mind i have no idea but all right guys y'all have a good and again i gotta get busy and uh i'll catch you on the next one i appreciate you watching see you later